सम नंबर नंबर वन इज विदाउट एक्चुअली एक्चुअली विदाउट एक्चुअली परफॉर्मिंग दी लॉन्ग डिविजन लॉन्ग डिविजन मतलब डिवाइडिंग न्यूमरेटर बाय डिनोमिनेटर विदाउट परफॉर्मिंग एक्चुअली एनी डिविजन स्टेट वेदर द फॉलोइंग रेशनल नंबर आर टर्मिनेटिंग और नॉन टर्मिनेटिंग रिकरिंग नाउ यू आर गिवन डिफरेंट एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट इज थर्टीन बाय थ्री वन टू फाइव ओनली हैव टू चेक थ्री वन टू फाइव कैन बी एक्सप्रेस एज टू रेस टू एम इन टू फाइव रेस टू एन और नॉट थ्री वन टू फाइव इज फाइव रेस टू फाइव इन टू टू रेस टू जीरो सो हियर एम इज जीरो एन एन इज फाइव क्लियर therefore this rational number is terminating decimal without long division i can make the judgment okay just by using theorem number 5 and 6 now second sum is 17 by 8 you know 8 can be expressed as to cube or 5 wala nahi hai to 5 raised to 0 एम इज थ्री एन इज जीरो देर फॉर आई कैन से दिस सेवनटीन बाय एट इट इज टर्मिनेटिंग डेसिमल क्लियर क्लियर नौ थर्ड सम सिक्सटी फोर बाय फोर फिफ्टी फाइव क्लियर सिक्सटी फोर बाय फोर फिफ्टी फाइव फोर फिफ्टी फाइव कैन बी एक्सप्रेस एज फाइव रेस टू वन इंटू सेवन रेस टू वन इंटू थर्टीन रेस टू वन दीज आर दी थ्री थ्री प्राइम फैक्टर्स ओके सो हियर इट इज नॉट टर्मिनेटिंग इट इज नॉट एक्सप्रेस you cannot be expressed in the form 2 raised to m into 5 raised to n because uh, factors are 7 and 13 also therefore it is non terminating recurring okay decimal clear clear now next for sum is 15 by 1600 let me reduce it is 3 by 320 okay i should get my rational number in a form p by q where p and q are co prime so now 3n uh, 3n 320 are को प्राइम ओके सो थ्री ट्वेंटी वॉट आर द प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन ऑफ थ्री ट्वेंटी इट इज टू रेस टू सिक्स इन टू फाइव रेस टू वन हाउ डिड आई गेट जस्ट बाय फैक्टराइजेशन यू नो दिस मैथड टू वन सिक्सटी अगेन डिवाइड बाय टू एटी अगेन डिवाइड बाय टू फोर्टी अगेन डिवाइड बाय टू ट्वेंटी अगेन डिवाइड बाय टू टेन Again divided by two five, again divided by five one. So it is two raised to six into five. So here m is six, n is one. Both are non-negative integer. Therefore, it is 
terminating decimal okay clear now fifth sum you are given 29 by 343 uthar ko prime so i can express 343 as 343 you know it is 7 into 7 into 7 7 cube is not equal to 2 raised to m into 5 raised to n okay therefore it is non terminating recurring okay decimal clear now six amish 23 upon 2 raised to 3 into 5 raised to 2 this implies terminating because my denominator is of the form can be expressed in a form 2 raised to m into 3 raised to n okay clear now 81 7th one 129 upon 2 raised to 2 into 5 raised to 7 into 7 raised to 5 non terminating because i am having q is having a prime factor other than 2n 5 so it is non terminating recurring decimal okay now h sum is 6 upon 15 let me reduce it 6 by 2 15 is written at 2 by 5 that implies it is terminating decimal okay now 9th is 35 by 50 it is reduce as 7 by 10 Reduce form is seven by ten. Ten is two raised to one into five raised to one, so it is terminating decimal. So this you are learning new concept in ten science, ten standard. Okay, and tenth is seventy-seven by two one ten. Let me reduce it because seven is a common factor in both n and d. Eleven by thirty. So thirty can be written as two raised to one into three raised to one into five raised to one. So it is not in a form of two raised to m into five raised to n. So non-terminating recurring. Okay, it is non-terminating recurring decimal. Clear? Now see second sum of this exercise is. They said, write down the decimal expansion of those sum, those rational number. In question number one, above which have terminating decimal expansion. Only those number should be converted in decimal expansion which are terminating. Okay, recurring वाला आपको कन्वर्ट नहीं करना है ओके सो ओनली नंबर वन नंबर टू नंबर फोर नंबर सिक्स नंबर एट एंड नंबर नाइन दीज आर टर्मिनेटिंग बाकी थ्री फाइव सेवन एंड टेन आर नॉन टर्मिनेटिंग रिकरिंग दैट शुड नॉट बी कन्वर्टेड इन टर्म्स ऑफ डेसिमल एक्सपेंजन ओके फर्स्ट इज थर्टीन अपॉन थ्री वन टू फाइव आई टोल यू Three one two five is two five raised to five. So in order to make it 
टेन रेस टू फाइव आई शुड मल्टीप्लाइड बोथ एन एंड डी बाय टू रेस टू फाइव एंड टू रेस टू फाइव इज थर्टी टू क्लियर सो वेन आई मल्टीप्लाइड थर्टीन विथ थर्टी टू इट इज फोर वन सिक्स और नीचे आया टेन रेस टू फाइव टेन रेस टू फाइव मतलब फाइव डेसीमल सो फोर वन सिक्स के आगे दो जीरो वी मस्ट पुट क्लियर नाउ सेकेंड इज सेवनटीन बाय एट It is two raised to cube. In order to make it ten raised to cube, I have to multiply both n and d by five raised to three. Five raised to three means one hundred twenty-five. So it is two one two five upon ten cube. Ten cube means three decimal. So it is two point one two five. Clear? Fourth is fifteen by six hundred. It is not in a reduced form. So You cancel it three by three twenty. Okay, three twenty was express as three twenty. In order to make it a three twenty, को क्या करते थे हम? It is two raised to six into five raised to one. So in order to make it a ten raised to six, I have to multiply both n and d by five raised to five. Agreed. सो so, नीचे आएगा टेन रेस टू सिक्स क्लियर और रुपया नाइन थ्री सेवन फाइव नाउ टेन रेस टू सिक्स मतलब सिक्स डेसिमल हियर ओनली फोर नंबर आर गिवन सो वी शुड मेक वी शुड पुट टू जीरो बिफोर डेसिमल आफ्टर डेसिमल ओके नाउ सिक्स इज ट्वेंटी थ्री बाय टू रेस टू थ्री इन टू फाइव रेस टू टू सो आई शुड मल्टीप्लाइड विथ In order to make it ten cube, I should multiply both by five raised to one. So it is one one five upon ten cube. So it is zero point one one five. Clear? Now eight is six by fifteen, not in a reduced form. Make it in a reduced form. Two by five. So I have to multiply both n and d by two two. So it is zero point four four by ten. And thirty-five by fifty will be reduced as seven by ten, so directly it is zero point seven. Clear? So my second sum is nothing but a first sum. First sum me jo direct bola hai terminating recurring, wo jo jo terminating hai usko terminating decimal me convert karne ka. Okay? Third sum is. The following real numbers have decimal expansion as given below. You are given decimal expansion of a real number. In each case, decide whether they are rational or not. If they are rational and of of the and they are of the form p by q, what can you say about their prime factors of q? Okay. So I am writing the question. The following. रियल नंबर यू आर गिवन रियल नंबर ओके इट कैन बी रैशनल इट कैन बी रैशनल हैव डेसिमल ऑल रियल नंबर हैव ए डेसिमल एक्सपांजन ओके थ्री टाइप ऑफ डेसिमल एक्सपांजन टर्मिनेटिंग नॉन टर्मिनेटिंग रिकरिंग एंड नाइदर टर्मिनेटिंग नॉन रिकरिंग एज गिवन बिलो इन ईच केस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दी क्वेश्चन इन ईच केस डिसाइड वेदर दे आर रैशनल और नॉट पहले तो आपको वो चेक करना है दे आर रैशनल और नॉट अगर वो रैशनल है इफ दे आर ऑफ द फॉर्म अगर रैशनल है तो दे आर ऑफ द फॉर्म इफ दे आर रैशनल एंड ऑफ द फॉर्म पी बाय क्यू वट कैन यू Say about 
the prime factors. of q are they having prime factor 2 and 5 or other than 2 and 5 that what we have to check now see first sum is given as 43.1234567891 and full stop we need not to continue so this is a terminating because last may there is an end no block of digits repeat and there is a end. And the crayon last it, you can add zero zero zero. It's terminating decimal and when it is terminating the de decimal, the rational number rational number P by Q may Q must be of the form two raised to M into 5 raised to n. So 2 and 5 are the factors of q, okay? Another sum is 0 0.120, 1200, 1200000, 1200000, and so on. It continue, pattern continue, okay? 30, zero, then 40, zero, then 50. Zero. So it is neither terminating nor recurring. So this is Neither terminating nor recurring. So this is a real number but not a rational. Okay? Not rational number. Just rationally nahi hai. It is not of the form. It is not of the form P by Q. जब p by q में ही नहीं है तो q के फैक्टर की सवाल ही नहीं उठता है, ओके? Okay? And third sum is given as 43.1234567891 बट ऊपर दिया है बार, मतलब this nine digits go on repeating. So this is non-terminating, right? And my zero ni aya. It is non-terminating, but it is recurring. Okay? It is non-terminating recurring decimal. Therefore, it is a rational number, right? It is a rational number of the form p by q, where q cannot be expressed. cannot be expressed in form 2 raised to m into 5 raised to n. But it has factors other than 2 and 5 also. Okay. It can have factors other than 2 and 5 also.